gosh, it's cold. Well, good morning. Uh, it's a drizzly kind of a morning. However, no wind. Gotta be loving the no wind. So I'm all packed up. As you'll see, I've uh, ditched the tubs. I'm trying out a couple of really enormous, uh, ooh, there we go, dry bags. Uh, <laughs> that back one's pretty heavy. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I like the low profile of them though, so that's good. Time to head off. It's 9.30, so I'm only about half an hour behind where I wanted to be. Doing well. Well, that was pretty special. I've just taken off and I saw my second water rat or Rakali for the trip. So very excited about that. He let me get very close. I was probably only three meters away. Uh, he had his back to me and he was eating. So he was pretty uh, absorbed in that. Um, oh, I've lost him now. He's gone. But that was awesome. I love seeing water rats. They're very reclusive so always a bit special Well, I just came around the corner and saw a number of these along the banks of the river and thought what the <laughs> why would someone have chopped down all these trees on the banks of the river but thinking about it these trees are far too young to have actually grown here and so there's a sign up on that tree you probably can't see it but it actually says fish habitat restoration so these are little fish hotels basically that they've put in the river so that's great news. It's also probably good for bank stabilization. Uh, so excellent to see some work going on for the poor little fish in the river. So I've just stopped for lunch. I saw another little water rat as I pulled up, uh, but he quickly scooted away. So I found this rather unusual campsite, fairly permanent. It's on Crown land. And it's got all these chairs and a table. And then I had my little two o'clock lunch <laughs> overlooking the river on this lovely seat with a table next to it. So I've got a couple of hours to paddle uh, to reach the spot that I'm hoping to find a campsite at tonight. Um, yeah, that brings me in at four o'clock. So 
that is better than quarter to five which is what I got in it last night that will give me time to boil some water before the mosquitoes come out so I can cook my dinner uh, yeah we'll see this is a very busy stretch of river there is likely to be quite a few campers along the way and so if I find a great little spot before the spot that I'm planning on uh, pulling up I may pull up early um, Okay, so I'm about 5Ks away from Loxton, which as you would know if you've seen my other video, uh, there are no campsites on busy weekends leading into Loxton. So I'm kind of committed now, but that's all right. It's only 20 past two and uh, I've still got, I reckon it's about, it's eight or nine kilometers to go. So uh, definitely get in site of a decent campsite uh, before sunset so it could well be a late one again but yep <laughs> it is what it is the, the wind has completely dropped out which is fantastic let's hope it stays that way because this straight just on the other side of Loxton is a long hard one if it's a headwind uh, so fingers crossed for that so this is the town of Loxton the town itself actually isn't on the river because of the big floods that used to come through so you'll find that it's further up the hill you can just see the first big building on the main street there in the center of screen at the moment lovely riverbank though Okay, it's quarter past five, <laughs> finally found a spot. I'm actually at the confluence of Catarapco Creek and the river. I have houses opposite me. And, uh, as nice as it was that the gas guns have scared off the Corellas, I do hope they stop the gas guns now because they're gone. <laughs> He's just done a couple for extra measure, I, I hope. So, I will get a fire going in a minute. Uh, there's heaps of firewood around, as you can see. <sighs> it's gonna be an early night, I think, because I don't really wanna be on show for all these houses. <laughs> oh well, there go the gas guns again. Okay, I'll set up my sleeping arrangements and then I'll get a fire going. And I better get a torch out pretty soon because it's gonna be dark in about five minutes. Okay, so pasta and sauce tonight with some sliced striker stick, pepperoni, and some home dried tomatoes. So I'll half cook this and then I will throw the accoutrement in.
Wow, that was a big day. 30 kilometers. I was not anticipating doing that, nor would I have planned to do that. But, nonetheless, that's what I did. Gosh, it was busy. I got to the spot that I thought was a done deal that I would be able to camp there and no one else would be there because it's on a corner opposite the caravan park with a house overhead but you know a bit of greenery so well not the house wasn't overhead so much as across the river up on a cliff looking over <laughs> um, turns out four other kayakers found that spot just before I did. Bugger. Uh, never mind. So I kept going. So worst case scenario, I could paddle the extra four kilometers to the start of Cataraptco Creek and either go slightly up the creek or maybe find a spot on the confluence somewhere. Which is what I ended up having to do. <laughs> I did find a spot on the river rather than in the creek, which is good because uh, it's a little more open and therefore less buggy. Uh, the only problem with that is that I've got houses on the cliffs opposite me and they're enjoying a bit of a party tonight. Oh well. <laughs> I found somewhere to put my tent. That's really all that mattered. It's a good little spot just a little bit noisy okay so now that I'm past Loxton the rush is off I know I'm gonna be able to find a campsite within half an hour of wanting to find one um, it's also Sunday night tonight so Monday night everyone's gonna be going home so there'll be far less people on the river so tomorrow I'm going to finish paddling at 3 30 that is my plan and I may not start until 10 or 10.30 tomorrow. Um, nice easy days for the next three days. Three days. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> three more days of paddling. Oh, brilliant. So it's going to be very cold tomorrow. Minus one, apparently. Although the weatherman's been getting it a bit wrong and if the trend continues it'll be about minus three when I wake up um, which is fine that's why I've got my nice hunter's beanie on today I'll be sleeping in it um, yeah love a good cold morning it is supposed to be um, foggy tomorrow so I will be hoping to get some nice photos <sighs> I'm pooped Hiker Midnight stands true for canoers too canoeists? canoeers okay I shall see you in the morning <laughs> karaoke across the river Brilliant! <laughs> I didn't expect that tonight. Bit of entertainment. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs>